two, one, go. Oh, hello guys, welcome to another episode of The Sharp Chronicles! Before we dive into the content, you know the score, like, subscribe, share. Thank you as always. This is Bread Charades. Arm hair? White. <laughs> First word. Two syllables. First syllable. Tim. Stiff. Robot. Uh, angle. I can't even think of the breads that we have that could be. Like. <laughs> no, I'm not. What bread does this relate? Still, still, yes, still. Stilton, Jenner and Stilton, yeah. Bread what? Two words. Two words. First word. Stars. Oh, sun dried tomato. <laughs> what? Is it? Yeah, that's like, what? what? Yes! What is that? What? <laughs> yeah. team, I mean hummus corner. Basically, we sold loads of hummus in the first 10 days, and then me and the stick thought it was a hummus party and bought loads, and then they all came back and bought it. So we have hummus for days. Smith what? Smith what? Sprug one, sprug two, in our new little seating area. There. Track and trace friendly. Oh, what are you doing? I think I like <laughs> Sorry, team, got interrupted. Insane amount of requests for vegan cakes, so gonna have to get old Jen on the uh, on the baking. But yeah, if anyone wants any hummus, I know a guy that sells some. However, there ain't no party like a gluten-free party. You requested, we listened. So we now have a gluten-free section in the store. For those of you that don't live around here, go with it anyway. Live through this store vicariously. Imagine you are having a hummus and gluten-free party for the sake of this video. Um, ask the staff. First and foremost, there's a ton of gluten-free produce, whether it's certain ciders, crisps, chocolate, cake, bread but we have also created like a kind of baking section of gluten-free produce which I will show you now. Cakes, yummy yummy cakes. Um, we've also got some gluten-free loaves that we've stocked. Ooh, bring those forward, staff forgot. And we also have a baking range of gluten-free. So self-raising flour, normal flour and gluten-free all-purpose flour and a bread mix. So we had a lot of requests for it and things like the sausages and that that we sell are all gluten free. So we've, uh, we've really tried to take on board your comments. If there's any other things, there's been quite a lot of requests for a vegan produce so we will start to knock that out from here on in. Um, as I say, we've got the bakers to, to look at it and we'll try and do the same for the bread as well. Thank you, by the way, for those of you that have supported the Breadway. I know there's been a load of people talking about us serving it, and we have actually tried that way um, on a couple of occasions, but actually the bottleneck queue that it causes with the need for distancing is, is potentially more problematic. Um, so we're trying another new way, as we said the other day, and that seems to be working quite well. We've also put gloves out, um, which is also helping. Loyalty cards. So they are launching next week, Monday. <laughs> <laughs> she got me at my own game. She got me at my own game. Look at them, laughing away. Bastards. <laughs> so, before I was interrupted, the loyalty cards, we're aiming to launch them Monday, Tuesday. Um, there's a data policy for those of you that would like to read it, but also we'll ask you to sign up, give us your email addresses uh, and some contact details, and then we'll start to issue them. So as you sign up, 
probably from Tuesday onwards, it will take us about 48 hours to turn them around. And then as you use your cards, it will start to clock up loyalty points uh, and we'll send out specific discounts and promotions that we think are relevant. And that's Smithton signing off for another week. Thank you for all of you that watch, for all of you that shop here, and hopefully for those of you that become loyalty members. But as always, enjoy what's left of your weekend and stay safe. And I'll hand you over to the team to sign off. Bye. Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you share the video about. And we'll see you next time.